Good evening. The folks at the Civic Arena believe they've come up with a solution to a problem some parents have been having. How to stop worrying when the kids go to a heavy metal rock concert. The arena tried its solution to the concert tonight with a group known as the Iron Maiden. Ralph Iannotti has more on the attempt to let the parents know the children are okay. <laughs> Iron Maiden puts on one of the loudest of any rock road show. It's great for young heavy metal music fans, but it's not so great for their parents. That's why the Civic Arena tonight kicked off something new called the Parents Waiting Room. This is really the Igloo Club, but for a few hours tonight, parents who drop their children off at the concert could come here, watch television, make some new friends perhaps, and pass the time away until the end of the show. I can be here, I know where he's sitting, I know where I'm going to meet him. Uh, we have pre-arranged pre exactly what we're going to do. More than 50 parents took advantage of the new Civic Arena service. Some even called in advance, saying they wanted to make reservations for the parents' waiting room, even though no reservations were required. The arena provided free soft drinks and snacks. The only hitch, if you want to call it that, parents couldn't go into the arena itself. And the parents I talked to were unanimous. This was an idea that was long overdue. I think it's a great idea. It gives parents a sense of security. And we were walking up together till we got close to the arena, and then he kind of faded away from us, and we slowed down, he slowed down, and we said, come on. He says, come on, walk faster, get away. You know, I don't want mom and dad around. We weren't quite sure what to expect. Uh, two other buildings have previously tried it in the country with much, much smaller response. So we weren't quite sure, uh, but uh, we're just very, very pleased. At you won't find this new parents' room open for concerts by someone like Kenny Rogers or Neil Diamond or Tom Jones. But you will find it when groups like Journey, or in tonight's case, Iron Maiden appears. Anything that might attract a younger crowd. This man, a minister from Clarion County, drove his son and his boy's girlfriend to the concert. And he passed the time away listening to a Sunday sermon. 